Time to talk round one of the PGA Championship, and yes. we have the tallest golf analyst in the history of the medium. As we welcome in big man Luke Cornett of the Knicks, joins us via the video call center from Beth Page. Luke, thanks so much for your time. What have you seen out there so far? Uh, I mean, we've seen pretty much everybody. It's uh, been a great time. Got to see uh, Brooks and Tiger finish up. You know, Brooks is playing really well. Um, kind of got to go all the way across the course, see a little bit of everybody. It's been great. Now, what has made Brooks Kepka so dominant out there? A lot of scores are pretty low, but he's at minus seven when he finished up. He just seemed to have a really good round out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, everything just seems to be like pretty automatic for him. Uh, I mean, he's just hitting the ball exactly where he wants to be every single time and just making the game a lot simpler than uh, we all tend to make it most of the times when we play. So, Luke, you're a big-time golfer. How did you get so interested in the sport? Um, so I was born in Kentucky, and it was like a thing we did just growing up. My, my dad played a ton and my uncle and stuff, so all us kids, we'd go to our little local part three course and stuff and play in the summers. Um, I mean, it just kind of started from there. We sort of played everything growing up, but... Uh, you know, golf in the summers is always a blast. Have you seen John Daly out there with a cart? I've heard he's catching a little bit of heat for riding around out there on that golf course. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's got his own little cart. Honestly, it's just like just him. There's no roof or anything. And also his, his caddy doesn't get to ride with him, so I feel a little bad because uh, you know, he's just kind of left out there in the open. But uh, he, is, he is limping a good amount, so I kind of give him a little bit of a – a break on that because he's like you need it but he's he's maneuvering in pretty tight spaces all right look we uh, all know you had a great round of golf last year with our man mike breen and here is how he broke down some of the things uh that happened uh, take a listen as you know luke cornett is a, has got great humility and he's telling me how how he hasn't really played golf in a while and you know he might not be very good so we go up to the first tee and i hit my drive and i hit okay you know decent got it in the fairway he takes out his driver. He hits it about 300 yards. It's the first drive he's hit in months, and he hits it 300 yards <laughs> right down the middle. Right down the middle? Yeah, you know, every once in a while you get one of those balls that keeps you coming back to golf, and I just was lucky enough to have it off the first tee. Um, I've been playing some recently. I wish I could have had a little bit more of that, but, um, you know, you just wait for that one. You get, like, one or two around, and that was it. Right off the first tee, I gave a good impression to Mike. <laughs> Luke, have you ever played Beth Page Black? Have you ever been out there and played that golf course? It's right 10 minutes from where I live, so I grew up on that track, but it's it's pretty special. Yeah, I haven't, but uh, I mean, obviously seeing it was like pretty incredible. And um, my dad's been wanting to play it for like, I mean, the last two years since I've been here and I've been yet to get him out on it. Uh, but I think after seeing it today, especially like I, I want to try to make the trek out here sometime. We're going to have to make that happen. We're going to have to get a little foursome, maybe yeah. throw Mike Breen in there. Let's get, let's get a game out at the black course. I can make that happen. We'll get a special tee time. Hey, Lee, Luke, did you watch the lottery uh, the other night? I'm sure you did. What was your reaction for the Knicks to get the, the number three overall pick? Uh, I mean, I think the number three pick's a, a great spot to be in. I think everyone was very, uh, like, hopefully excited and stuff. But honestly, a third pick's a great spot to be, especially heading into this summer. And um, I mean, I think it'll be great for the team. I don't know if you saw Brooke Lopez's performance last night. You torched him. I called that game against Milwaukee. That was one of your best games of the year. You were lights out from three. Uh, what do you think about his development and the way he's shooting the ball from the outside and spacing the floor? Oh, I think it's I mean, it's awesome, especially last night. Uh, you can really see like how it helps, especially like having Giannis on the court out there and having a guy that can space the floor and guard the rim. He's, I know last game was incredible. and. I mean, he's been doing that for like, it's crazy he's been doing it for like three years, even though he's been playing for probably like 10 or 12 right now, and he just started doing it late. But, I mean, he's about like the best in the league uh, in terms of like, just like a stretch five that's guarding the rim right now. So uh, it's cool to see him doing well. You know, look, when you look at how Lopez played there and how the, the game has developed with guys your size hitting the three, is it something that you may want to model yourself after the, the, the guys like Lopez as you continue to develop in your career? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, especially, like, I mean, watching him, it's, I mean, you can just see the utility of it right away to be able to play five guys out like that. And then, I mean, he's also great around the rim. And that's kind of like the two main things that I really try to work on and really try to, like, kind of make the signature parts of my game. So, honestly, yeah, Brooke Lopez is one of, like, the main guys in terms of uh, kind of wanting to, like, emulate. And, uh, I mean, he's shown how effective it is uh, just this year with Milwaukee. 
Luke, what's your summer plan and what's your summer routine for kind of getting your workouts and getting in the gym, getting in the weight room? Where are you going to be this summer? Uh, yeah, so I'm in, obviously in New York now. I'm kind of splitting time between here and uh, Nashville, really. That's where I've been the last couple of weeks. But I was Monday through Friday, I'm getting up, lifting, and doing like movement work, and then uh, going like shoot and work out. And then in the evenings and stuff, I'm doing a little bit of yoga, and I actually am finding the time to play a little golf here and there. Um, but like it kind of like ramps up a little bit more as like the summer goes on. But uh, yeah, I get in the work in every morning, got some shots up this morning, and then headed out here. And uh, it's, it's been good. Yeah. Luke, it's really been an amazing journey. You go to Vanderbilt undrafted, spend some time, a lot of time in the G League. You get a chance with the Knicks, and you have really made a mark. How have you been able to do that, and what are you hoping for now as time goes forward? Um, I mean, in terms of how I've been able to do it, like, I really haven't tried to put anything more to it than just, like, kind of getting in the gym every single day and working hard and, like, really trying to, like, work in my body and stuff like that. And, uh, just kind of like hoping that the the results like speak for themselves, and I mean I think going forward I would just I'd love to keep that growth and become one of the like best big shooters in the league, and um, also like be a, a great like defensive anchor type stuff. And I feel like um, that's what I really pride myself in, and what I like look forward to continue getting better in. Luke, hey, thanks so much. Thanks for joining us, and keep hitting him straight, and have a great off season. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for having me on, guys. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out our right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.